but looks like one All of the right. Saints we is have injured. Ezekiel, or, uh, we're, we have Ezekiel like, like going right now. But we did have what's his same Alvin Kamara is out for, oh my God. And our left guard's first play back, he goes down again. Now a timeout here, at least for the moment. Looks like one of the Saints is injured. That's literally insane. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Now this throw caught left side. Madden is... Get this one all the way past the 30. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. I don't know what's up with Madden yet. Inside give to Elliott. And he's going to get a solid gain of... I know we just have to run the ball as best as we can. Dinter gets hurt every game, like... Straight, so yeah, we got to get off the Schneid here. Two straight. Peter Bay is here, so let's see if we can get Taysom Hill in motion on the left. That'd be chill. Oh, oh they storm him up. They bring him up. Oh, come on, block him. You got a lot there. Yeah, he's defense for Tampa Bay. You bring the eye over, he just runs right through. Well last week in the win over Atlanta. And what I saw on film was nearly an unstoppable pass rush. They had five sacks last week, plenty of hurries. Right, if you guys recall in our dynasty or franchise mode last year, when we had Vita Bay, it was like probably the best Madden like player I've ever played in this. They've moved it well, but here's third down. All right, so we got to get Michael Thomas 100 yards or he's going to cry. Like, see, it just doesn't help us win football games catering to deep wide receivers. Are we trying to build a program culture of winning? Or are we going to cater to deep wide receivers? Ooh, Mike Evans looks swaggy. I love Mike Evans. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball? Or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback upright? I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. And this is gonna lead to another first down as the tackles made at the box. Lucky we ran that play because we got the Zeke actually blocking on the edge. On first and ten, Daniels. Catchy. It's just like hard. Like I don't want to play cheesy or anything, but I feel like the only like I need to get plays where guys are just like completely open to like get them the ball. Anytime, like, there's anything where it's, like, not wide open, it just gets knocked out. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Michael Thomas, and he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. All right, getting Michael Thomas some yards. of 10 yards, and that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Again to Elliott, and this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. Do we do a push, push here? And it'll set up third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and short, they'll try Thank to you. The air. Oh my gosh, guys. I so thought for sure, like, like, just having so many people up in his face on the line of scrimmage, like, it was going to mess up the timing of the route or whatever. Switch to a hitch and just go out to Michael Thomas. 15 plays, 85 yards. All right, we're back, baby. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a Rashad White. I had him in fantasy last year. Same thing here in the NFL. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Michael Penix Jr. in the box would be sweet, but they have Baker IRL. 
After one, seven nothing on the A score. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. As they've got it as we resume action. Second and 11. Got a man downfield. It's I don't like the freaking cover two. Position there. That's, 40 That's on me. 40-yard bomb. The right now, now they're alive. All this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a break. That was Badger all the way over the top there. They want to fix immediately. It's Marco Jackson, the man to bring him down defensively. So, Charles, you look at this offense. So what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to uh, into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0, and 0, then lost 5-6 and six and went out in the first round. But I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time frame, and you're still doing this, that's when things start to get real. Cool. Man, injuries really pile up in this game where it's just like... Here's second and eight. He's going to have the hook up to a, gauge. a strong, broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. They'll drop to throw. There we go. And that is incomplete. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense. Damn it, they're going for it. And no signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. They'll run for it this Yeah, game. let's go. This up a disaster Huge. near the marker. The Bucks try it on fourth down, but come on. Do we want to take a shot or Saints will no. have the football back. Our shot, shot taking is kind of done right now. In. We don't want to play stupid. We want to get away. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. Officially, it's a one yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Looking to throw. Daniels. There's Chris Alabo. And he'll be called well upfield right around the 40 yard line. Some of the freaking animations here are just crazy. Operating from the gun, Daniels. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards the two minute warning. Another mesh. Throwing on first down, Daniels. That is incomplete. Now a second and ten. Tenth carry now for Allen. Him. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. It's a tough, it's a tough situation third here. Down. Daniels. You run it? Escaping the pressure right. All right, that's a huge run. He reaches the eight-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble and gets him a first down. I feel like I haven't ran a freaking halfback draw in forever. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> now Elliott, and he will maneuver his way. Now take a little, little bit of time off the clock. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Fly trail. This is how he won. Uh, was it week two? That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Now they'll switch it up here. Oh god, beat of it. What? Dude, my game keeps getting messed up where like it just like gets out of full screen mode. Now it's it didn't really bother me that much normally. But now we're like getting into like losing games. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped Also, I wasn't it. paying attention because I was so flustered that that happened. I almost just ran out of the time. Name, but 
when he Charles it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room haven't really been able to get anything going offensively virtually nothing in the ground attack either so certainly something has to change here in Mike Evans he's gonna go Mike Evans touchdown Tampa Bay here we go damn it a first down carry by Elliott. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. I think They're we got We got to draft the running back early that we like. The guy who made the play. We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. 13 for 38. Here comes third down at 7. Back to throw. Daniels flushed out right. And going deep for Hill. Oh, what was he thinking there? It's easily intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. Damn. The Buccaneers are going to take over at their own 41. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. There we go. Boy, nowhere to go at all. Percy Jackson. As they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll set up a throw. And he's going to have to there we go. This one down he goes. There we go, Turner. And that'll be marked down as their first sack of the game. Well, they had six last week. And this offense did its homework, didn't it? Because they saw... All right, nothing stupid. And they really worked hard to tamp it down and beat it back. And they did a great job. There we go. Pressure too great. And Grandy, man. You're coming to... Call it a loss of four there on the sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. 47 yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here are the Saints to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Keep running your route, bro. That's Thomas. Why did he stop like that? A pickup of four. All right, Michael Thomas wants the ball. This is his route right here. The play fake. Daniels. Rush coming and he's taken down. Nope. Levante David making his presence felt in the backfield. How to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. Looking to throw. Daniels. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40. Olave. He's a beast. Moreau's got to block the backer. He ran right by him. If you're in watching film on that, he's going to get destroyed. Has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. I mean, is that a... For the moment, looks like one of the Saints is guard? injured, shaken up on that last play. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Flush to his right, and past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A nifty bit of scrambling there, 12 yards, first down. From the shotgun again to Elliott. And he is going to be stopped. Nothing on that. Behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They went with the run pass option, and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options. But when they read their keys and play it correctly, sometimes the result goes in their favor. All right. Is he digging? Before he's brought down at the 25. 
So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The offense on third down, they've been very good. We have to kick it. Thus far. This is there we go. Four. There we go. Look at that blocking by. Why is he running like that? And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five yard line. So, first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Elliott will score. Touchdown, New Orleans. All right. Time for the defense to lock in. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And there's a short one taken. Freaking Kate Otten again. And he'll be upended at the 20. How many injuries do we have? Just a Jesus. three yard game there. Here's second and seven now from the 20. Everyone's going down. They'll set up to throw. He finds his target. It's Evans. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. He had the touchdown Who, earlier. Is this it Latimer and Mike Evans that fight every game? Or is it someone else? I feel like it, I feel like it's a Saints guy. There we go. Randy man. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. My, the, the animations this game have been so funky and wonky, like, I don't even know what to make of it. Second down and three. Off play action. Daniels. I just don't understand why I can't freaking. Picked off by Jamal Dean. And the Bucks are right back. Every single time. We're holding on to the lead at this stage in the second half. Those are the types of plays you're really so many interceptions. Has Gavin even been playing in this game? Keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on. Honey Badger. Throw there. It's intercepted. Picked up by the Honey Badger, Tyra Matthew. And the Saints are in great shape here. As they take over at their 46 yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. Just what you want to see. Is he just, run, just uh, having his career rejuvenation after, two. like, I even forget what, what the original trade was to even bring him in. They go to Elliott again. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left. He hurt. Third and two. Two yards still to go. Third down now. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's got the first before he's brought. I was actually like never really an Ezekiel Elliott fan. Like obviously because I'm a Giants fan. He's a Cowboy. He's a lifelong Cowboy guy in the Pats this year, but not the biggest Zeke fan just in general. Oh my God. Hey, some hell. Defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Yikes, a four yard loss really like sets that. him back now for second down. You're also just out of your mind if they're ready to play. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. On second down, Elliott. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively. With kind of have to, to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Pitch and catch to Moreau, the tight end. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And All right, try to get a sack here. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to Another interception would be nice. Be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 
At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. One time out I mean, Michael Penix Jr.'s score line doesn't even look half as bad as, scores, as I think he played. Here's first and ten. Now here's a throw that's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Here's first and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. It's caught. This is right. Here's second down. How much time run, runs off there? 11? Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Three blitz. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Running badge. Back to throw again. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Brutal miss. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's got his target. That's complete. The Bucks forced to use their third. Got to be game over soon out. enough here. As they stop it with 14 seconds Big win. to go in the game. Bucks were five straight undefeated. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. I think they were talking about the Bucks being undefeated. I don't really. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Going. Uh, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. But this crowd is on pins and needles now because anytime you see the ball heading for the end zone, you really hold your breath, and they come out of their I would love to pat some stats for complete. interceptions. What? Consolation All right, let's go, baby. This one.